Pro Chancellor, I present to you for the degree of Doctor of Science, Honoris Causa, Michael Greaves, Emeritus Professor of Haematology, University of Aberdeen. <laughs> Professor Greaves, Mike to most of us, studied at the University of Sheffield where he accumulated numerous medals and prizes during his undergraduate years before graduating MBCHB with honors in 1972. Mike quickly developed an interest in haematology and after initial training and temporary lectureship in Sheffield, moved to Australia to undertake his specialty training. He returned to Sheffield two years later where he rose through the academic ranks before being appointed to the University of Aberdeen as Professor of Haematology in 1996. Since his appointment, Mike has built an enviable reputation as a first-class clinical academic. He has published more than 200 academic papers and 20 book chapters, mostly in relation to hemostasis, thrombosis, and myeloma. He has contributed to the development of his discipline through numerous local, national, and international activities, including being president of several professional societies, such as the British Society of Haematology and the British Society of Haemostasis and Thrombosis. He has chaired a number of quality assurance panels, including the Control of Anticoagulation, Subcommittee of the International Society of Thrombosis, and haemostasis. Uh, and he's held various editorships, including co-editor-in-chief of the Journal of Thrombosis and Haematology. Through these various activities, Mike has contributed important new knowledge to his field, helped ensure rigorous clinical standards, and been heavily involved in training the next cadre of clinical colleagues. His international reputation was recognized in 2008 by his receipt of the Von Creeland Award from the Netherlands Society for Thrombosis and Hemostasis. As well as his academic work, Mike has held a, a wide range of administrative positions within the university, including head of the School of Medicine, vice principal, and senior vice principal. These endeavors have seen Mike to be heavily involved in the establishment of the dental school at, the, at Aberdeen, the building of the Sutty Center for Teaching and Learning in Healthcare at Forrester Hill, and the building of the Aberdeen Sports Village. Even though he's now retired, Mike remains heavily involved with the latest new construction on the Forrester Hill campus, the Anchor Center, which will bring together under one roof all hematology, oncology, and radiotherapy day and outpatient services under one roof. Mike has always discharged his numerous academic and administrative, administrative duties with quiet rigor and dedication, but it's underpinned by a quick wit. He brought the same attributes to what he saw as his, the most enjoyable part of the job, his clinical practice. Mike never tired of meeting patients, hearing their stories, and trying to help them with their particular clinical problems. He enjoyed diagnostic challenges, and continued to provide a clinical service up to his retirement, even though it meant long hours in the evening and weekend catching up with his other duties. Mike continues to display his interest in people through his uh, trusteeship of Quarriers, one of the leading social care charities in Scotland. Outside a clearly very productive academic and clinical life, Mike has pursued a keen interest in running, becoming the Yorkshire County Veterans uh, Cross Country Champion in 1993. He also enjoys growing vegetables, looking after his chickens and llamas, and watching many sports, but not golf. <laughs> Pro-Chancellor, in recognition of his considerable contribution to academia and clinical service, I ask you to confer the degree of Doctor of Science honoris causa upon Professor Mike Greaves. Ego te scientiae doctorum et magistrum constituo quiu proclamo renuntio 
et in signum capitum hoc pedeo orno quod ut felix vastunque sit deum optimum maximum praecor. special and I think the words in the honorary I feel honoured to have a degree from the University of Aberdeen. Uh, I originally graduated from a different university in Sheffield. I was very proud to come to Aberdeen nearly 25 years ago and I've enjoyed it thoroughly. I've been very well looked after and supported and this just is a culmination for me. It's a wonderful day. It means everything to me in terms of being able to interact with the students over the years particularly and also in my clinical role interacting with patients with the local population has been wonderful. It's an ancient university but it's a forward looking one and I've been absolutely thrilled to be able to help develop the medical school and, and also the new dental school and to bring that into fruition. All of those things have been for me highlights. I think to recognise what they've already achieved, which is magnificent. It's, a, it's not an easy degree, yeah, BCHB, you have to work hard, uh, you need to be devoted to the task. And I say to them, more of that in the future, enjoy what you do. For me, being a doctor, if I had my years again, I would do it again. It's the most satisfying thing to do.